Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make this miniature cooler. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and take your bottom piece, which is going to be the one with the name on it. I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the side. Like that. Then you want to take your other piece and you put a little bit of glue on here. This is your other side. And you want to attach that right even there. You want to make sure that they stand it straight up. You can use the square up tool that I sell on my website for this purpose. If you don't have that, you just need to use something that's square. Okay, while that's setting up, we're going to slide that to the side for a second. Now you have this square piece and this square piece. It should pretty much be exactly the same size. If you want to paint this, you need to paint this part now to make it easier. And I've made this center a lot smaller than it, what it needs to be so that the paint doesn't stop you from having your lid come on and off easily. All right, once you have them lined up, put a little bit of glue right in the center. And then you want to take the piece that looks like it should be holding thread or something. And you want to put that right in the center of that. Hold that in place. Make sure it's still there. And then you want to remove that before it glues. And then that will give you the center piece that you need for your cooler. Now if you notice, I have this here because that way it gives your doll handles to reach underneath of there. Usually in a cooler that would just be an indentation of the plastic where it's molded downward, but we don't have that option here, so we did it like that. So you're going to set that on the side and let that dry. In the meantime, this should have been set up enough to where you can go back and you can add the glue right to the edge here. And right to the edge there. And now you want to go ahead and put a little bit of glue right here, along here, and along here. And then you want to glue that piece to there. Now, when you are gluing these, and I should have mentioned this earlier, but I didn't, the ends are rounded on one end. And that's just so that you have less to try and sand off. So once that's like that, make sure everything's squared up. Make sure that fits in there perfect, and it does. At this point, you want to let it dry. But for the handles, you need to take them. If you don't want them as thick, then you want to take your little box knife and line it up evenly with it. Keep your fingers far away from the blade and then just slice right down the middle. If they're not even when you slice it, just take a piece on sandpaper and go like this on the sandpaper so that you can make them even, just like that. Then you wanna paint them. Now, you will need two types of sandpaper for this next step. 
you will need a coarse sandpaper that you can get a lot of the stuff off with and you're just going to go over it like this and you want to just keep doing that then on the ends just kind of go on that corner to round that see how easy that rounds then you want to do the same thing on this one on the corners of each one and this is a long process for sanding you can use super coarse sandpaper but then you're not gonna um, have that smooth effect that you need for the cooler this is the 220 this is what I finish it with See how it's starting to get that round look to it? Now I see how your corner there is starting to blend in like one. Now I'm just doing like this kind of motion. And now I'm going to come back. And then you just finish sanding that up. And you can see how this end is starting to shape up. Now to get the edge look textured, like a real cooler, just go back and forth on the sandpaper a few times and that'll give that just enough texture on the rough one though, not the thin one. So this is 400, the purple one, and then this red one is 220, but I also have it in purple. So 400 grit and 220 is what you'll need. As far as your little bits of sandpaper, go ahead and hold on to them for now. I'm just kind of pushing them like a little pile. So I'm going to show you a trick. So here you have this now this will sand down without putting anything in here at all I can sand that down because that's what I did here I didn't use any filler at all on the bottom of that but if you're having a hard time getting those corners to meet up the parts that you sand off you just go ahead and take that and take a q-tip and some glue hmm, my glue doesn't want to come out Okay, so you want to go ahead and put just a tiny bit of glue right on like something scrap that you're not going to need anymore. Then you want to take a toothpick put your little bits of sandpaper that you just sanded off and just mix that right in there. Should get kind of like clumpy and pasty like. Now again, you don't need to do this step if you do more sanding. And it will sand down. But I purposely made these corners so that you'd have less sanding to do it. But you can just fill that right in there. And 
and then let it dry and if it needs more then you just add more after the fact And that's a quick, easy way to do wood filler without actually needing to do wood filler. Okay, so back to the sanding. I'm going to go ahead and do it on the other one since that one's already there. Okay, so when you got most of your sanding done, you can wipe off your um, sandpaper and it'll wipe off really nicely to save it for the next time. Now, most of this is done. I haven't done this side, but this side I've pretty much done. At this point, you need to use your thinner sandpaper and you need to go back over it. And I'm just doing circular motions. And that's going to give me the texture I need to have this finished look. Take your time, sand it out. Like I can see where this here would need a little bit more sanding. So I can just kind of go over it a little bit by hand. But doing it on a flat surface initially is the better way. And then you just continue that process until all of it is done. And as you can see, it will start to look rounded. 
just sand up where you need more like see how this is a little bit rounder here than it is over here so I would want to round that off to make that even and then the next step would be and this will be after you glue it together and there will be two lines on the one that you get because before I printed this I went ahead and I put two lines on one on each side so you could keep it even you will go ahead and put some crazy glue on your handle and put it there and then that's all it is to make in this and if you want to have your um, lid round it rather than square I just do that and then it's rounded Then take this like this, hold it even pressure, and then go back and adjust how you want it to be. And then your lid becomes rounded. Same process for the sandpaper goes for the top to give you that texture. Do it with the rough one first. And then the finer grit next. And then that'll give you that texture that you need for the lid of the cooler. And then that's it. Paint it, attach your handles when the paint is dry, and your cooler would be done. All right. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a question, suggestion, or comment below. And if you want to get this as a kit, you can on my website under dollhousetutorials.com. Just go there and look at shop and you can get it. Or you can go to Crafts by Laurie for you. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.